Hope springs eternal. As August 18th is coming up, the date of the next DC mega flop Blue Beetle. Oh. I'm, I'm not trying to be unkind. I'm not trying to be mean. Listen, I saw the trailers for Blue Beetle, and I think they look promising. I am personally looking forward to seeing this movie. You know, I got really interested in it when they were originally making this Blue Beetle movie to be dumped on HBO Max, to be just dumped onto the streaming service. But then the new management of Warner Brothers took a look at it and said, you know what? This is pretty good. This should go into theaters, and they're doing a theatrical release, and I'm super thrilled for them. But make no mistake, this movie is going to flop and flop hard through no fault of its own, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. You know, where Blue Beetle fits in the whole scheme of the old DC as it's transitioning into the new James Gunn DCU, which is coming up in uh, 2025 when Superman Legacy launches, you know, kind of became a key factor when James Gunn was doing an interview last week or a couple of weeks ago, and he was talking about Blue Beetle, and he said an interesting thing. He said that Blue Beetle is the first character of the new DCU, but that it's not the first movie of the new DCU. The first movie of the DCU is Superman Legacy, and we interpreted that at the time as saying, okay, so the events of the Blue Beetle movie are not going to be canon in the new DCU, but it sounds like this character is indeed going to be going over, which also makes me kind of optimistic because that means James Gunn looked at this character and what they did with the character in, the, in this movie that we haven't seen yet and said, you know what? Jaime Reyes should be coming over to the new DCU. But depending on who you ask, where Blue Beetle actually fits is up for discussion. James Gunn says, yeah, the character's coming over, but the movie's not. Well, you know, the director of Blue Beetle and Hal Manuel Soto, that he was talking about how he thinks his movie does fit into the new DCU. This is what he said. This comes us from folks at Deadline who wrote, the director says his film is part of the future that the DC co-heads, as James Gunn and Peter Safran, are building. We are part of the universe. We are part of the world. We are part of the plans that they have been creating for the future installments of the DCU Soto Told Total Film Magazine. I mean, and that's great, but that doesn't really sound like it fits with James Gunn's statement. I, I, granted, though, it could be a matter of semantics. He's saying, you know, we are a part of that universe. We're part of the world. We are part of the plans. And maybe what he means by that is that the character's coming over, but the movie and the details of the movie are not. But then if you ask another person involved with the movie, they're saying that, oh, no, Blue Beetle, we planned it as a trilogy. The star of the film, Cobra Kai's Sholo Maraduena, said Jaime Reyes, who gains superpowers when an alien blue scarab grafts onto him, the director has high hopes for the film and has planned it as a trilogy. Our first movie... The way we wanted to do it was always with the mentality that we wanted to do two more at least, Soto explained. And taking the traditional three-act structure of a story, we wanted our first movie to practically be the first act of a saga. And hope springs eternal. Good on you. Look on the bright side. Think good thoughts. That's awesome. Good on you. There ain't going to be no Blue Beetle trilogy. Let's, let's be really clear. While I admire the the optimism and let's look on the bright side of life and the whole bit, there is not going to be a Blue Beetle trilogy. This movie is going to flop and it's going to flop fairly hard. Um, and again, that is through no fault of the director or the star or the script or screenplay. I think the movie looks promising and it could be a good movie, but the reality is nobody wants to watch a DC film right now. The, the DC universe died a long time ago, really. And it's just kind of been rigor mortis setting in ever since with Black Adam, Shazam. And by the way, I like Black Adam, but that movie, that movie flopped. Shazam 2, I like Shazam 2, but that movie, biggest flop in the history of comic book movies. Flash, rigor mortis just set in even more. It, it ain't going anywhere. No legs can move fast enough to take this thing to box office glory. Shazam breaking records. Breaking records. The wrong way. The wrong kind. <laughs> the wrong kind gonna, of records. I'm going to go on a limb and say this is going to be the highest grossing DC movie this year. So you think it'll make... See, I'm thinking Flash might end up right around Black Adam. Like right around the $400 million. You think Blue Beetle's got the chance to go higher than $400 million? I, There's a chance a new character could be so interesting to the I public so. that it's like, hey man... Let's check this thing out and see what, what's going on. It could be the billion dollar beetle. Billion dollar beetle, baby. <laughs> the beetle club, baby.
You know what? BDB, here it comes. Uh, to keep everything like serious now. Um, <laughs> The, the suit and everything looks cool. I mean, uh, what I've seen, the things he creates, it looks awesome. I think kids will dig this movie. I Again, I think it has promise, but you got to buy a ticket and go to the theater to see it, to dig it. And I just don't know that a lot of people yeah. are interested in going. Yeah. I'm interested. I'm going to be there opening day. But, I mean, that's just the way that things are. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash campia that's rocketmoney.com slash campia rocketmoney.com slash campia guys question is for you what do you think about these statements i mean there the hope springs eternal there seems to be a lot of optimism here that yeah we're going to be a part of the new dcu we, we planned this thing as a trilogy that's all great as the great mike tyson said everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth and i think blue beetle unfortunately is about to get punched in the mouth on august 18th but how are you feeling about it? did you like the trailers i thought the trailers showed a lot of promise not necessarily that they were the best trailers but showed promise are you going to go out and see it when it comes out do you already have zero interest in it how do you think it'll actually fare to other films that have come out around this level black adam flash you think they'll do better than those will it be the bdb will it be the billion dollar beetle or will it be yet <laughs> the next flop on the way to the new dcu whatever you guys think jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, but more importantly, make sure you subscribe to our daily podcast, the John Campia Show podcast, available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and your favorite podcasting app of choice.